Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 10. You can see I've been a little busy when it comes to modern industrialization. Yeah. So, first things first, I set up, uh, what is it, I set this up? Is this the one probe again now, or is this Jade? Because I don't remember it doing this before. That's interesting. Weird. Uh, we just had an update, but um, I'll go over that in a minute. I wanted to show you what I've done in between episodes. So, first thing is I set up this Coke oven. And I set it up in a weird way. By the way, this thing needs steam, which I didn't realise. All of the Coke ovens I've had in the past have not needed steam. But we need the creosote of all things. So I've got that coming out here. And I'll explain a little bit about the applied energistics over here right now, actually. So... I've got a wireless ME connector right there, and if we pop back over here, go underneath, there's the uh, the wireless ME connector. It's not connected to this dense cable right here. I've put a little um, cable anchor there so they don't connect. That is connected to the face of the controller, like the one that this, this is attached to. So this is transferring 32 channels. So if I pop back up here, that there is connected as if it was touching the controller. So I've got a cable coming off this and going down and there is a storage bus right there. And the storage bus is purely connected to this barrel, not barrel, what's this? This is a fluid tank, sorry. Full of creosote. This is exporting all of the creosote. There's a, um, a steel fluid output hatch. Don't ask why I used a steel one instead of the, um, the bronze one. But if we do hatch like that, you see there's like loads of different types. So we've got like the steel fluid output hatch. We've got the uh, input item hatch, in output item hatch, and then the input hatch as well. So yeah, so you need all four of these for the, uh, what is it, the coke oven? So if I do, oh wow, this is all changed as well. Yeah, a load of stuff has been reset because um, we just had an update, as I said. But if we do this, and then we go to, uh, what is it? Coke oven. You can see I've got a load of uh, cold coke right there, but we'll go over that in a sec, as I said. Furnace, load of brick. Remember I went and got lo loads of clay recently? I can't remember why I got the clay. Oh, it's for fire brick. So, yeah, we went and got clay. And uh, I made some brick out of it. And then uh, you also need 24 bricks, but that is a bit of a misnomer because you actually need 20 because you need all four of the input and output, you know, so like the fluid input, fluid output, item input, item output. So you actually need 20 brick, regular old Minecraft brick and uh, the Coke oven. I will just point out, I'll tell you what. Ah, oh, why do you have to be there? Anyway, uh, you can see right there that this has like, it doesn't have these two in the middle, so it's like a, a flume basically that goes up. But you can you can enclose it in and stuff, so that's what I did in the end. So I'm just gonna pop these back. Uh, if you have a wrench, and funny enough, I think the configurator works as well. If you have a wrench, you can actually see where all of the things need to be placed. So that's pretty cool. So what we got here is we've got a steel input hatch. And uh, you can say auto pull item. Oh, you can auto pull items. That's really good. And then over here, you've got a steel item output hatch. So I'm actually going to take this cold coke. And then over here, we've also got a steel output hatch for the fluid. And that's where the creosote is going. Creosote is not 100%. Oh, and you can't do blocks. You can't make blocks of this in the... Uh, uh, what do you call it here? The coke oven. I didn't know that at first. I was like, well, why is it not working? And apparently you need to fill this with steam, which I, I didn't know either. So, uh, yeah, I've just set this up so the steam goes like down and then round and into this. But yeah, there we go. So that's what I did between episodes. I set that up. Um, I set up the wireless connector so it's connected here. It also goes around like that. And if I break this one... You can see I've actually got two two lines right here of um, smart cable. So this cable is going all the way down to the end. And that is purely because we've got nine things right here. I'll show you. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, because I put the extended pattern providers and, you know, the pattern encoding terminal and the crafting te uh, terminal thing over here. Uh, so that, that counts as three as well. And then we got one, two, three. So that's that's nine altogether. So this one here is doing two channels and this one's doing seven channels. So it was purely because of channels that I did all of that. So let me put all of this back so you can't see it. And there you go. I think it looks all right. It looks decent. I need to do more on this side. So I ideally want to pull out of the uh, the input hatch or the, the output hatch, sorry, and then put into the input hatch. That makes sense to me. But anyway, between episodes, uh, what else do we get? So, oh my goodness. I can't believe that they added this after I had so much trouble last episode with uh, lighting. But... Simply lights is in here, and we've got the, the classic dynamic edge lights and uh, bottom and top. Uh, I really want to use these because I use these all the time. I don't think it would fit in this. Um, maybe it would fit in this situation. What do you think? I'll, I'll, um, I'll make some. And you can let me know what you think. I need to go get way more glowstone if we're going to do that, though. Oh, that's the wrong way around. I actually quite like that. That looks kind of nice. So we could set it up like this. And these do produce like a little bit of light. It's not it's not like the worst amount. It's pretty good though. I quite like that. I might... Oh, I can't leave those there, can I? That would look weird. But yeah, the, the, there's loads of other stuff in here. There's like the uh, inverted lights. Like These are really cool. I like these. Could do some of those. I'm not sure, but... Yeah. That got added. There has been some quests added for just dire things. Oh, you, you, why do you? Well, I don't like the tick mark ones because it's just it's so annoying. Like that one there is just, just got a tick mark for no reason. It means that if you get the quest, you don't get it straight away because you have to do the tick mark. It's very annoying. I click here, and I'm gonna just check mark all of them. It's so annoying. Anyway, um. Yeah, there we go. So we've got like primordial goo and stuff. I've I've done all of these. That's the annoying part. I don't know if I can get any of them out either, if I'm honest. But you know what? I'm going to ignore the quests. If for those out there that love quests, then awesome. There you go. Wasted, oh, no, wasted radioactive bees have been fixed or something. What's it say? Fixed wasted bee conversion. Oh, oh, okay. So maybe there wasn't like, so there's a 5% chance to turn a radioactive bee into a wasted radioactive bee. Needs an antimatter pellet now. Does this now give? Nope, it still only gives 100 millibuckets. Used to be a bucket. Used to be amazing, and now it's not amazing. You need a ridiculous amount of bees if you want to do this. And I don't think it's worth it. So... We might do it anyway, if I'm honest, because I, I really like bees. So if we can do everything with bees, that'd be amazing. <laughs> we got hyper boxes as well. We could put them in hyper box. Anyway, um, oh, there's apparently uh, MI bees are also fixed now. I don't know what that means, but uh, this right here, that's an MI bee, right? Because you need modern industrialization, the monazite stuff. We're so close to getting this, by the way, uh, the, the two blocks. So we can make the bee. And then that gives us... Uh, some tiny monos monozite. That'd be really useful later on, I reckon. Again, I have no idea what monozite even does. So, that's kind of funny. <laughs> and then we can get this bee as well. With silver and lead. Interesting. I don't know what this is used for. I'm sure this will make sense later on down the line. For now, what is this used for? Okay, I'm going to have to look it up. Because... I have no idea. It doesn't look like... Okay, what are the nuggets used for? Nuggets aren't used for anything, apparently. Uh, what are the dusts used for? Okay, mixer. Lead and this antimony. Battery alloy. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing this is... you. Okay, this is not used for much. Uh, you can make this out of it and then that's how you make some cadmium batteries and redstone batteries got ya okay that makes a lot of sense okay cool so that's what that's used for there was the other one as well there's titanium i think i don't know where that is 
It's one of these bees. Anyway, bees. Bees have been updated. There's iridium. Silicon bee. That might be quite a good one to get. That, yeah, looks kind of good. How do you get the silicon bee? Silicon bee is nomad and the reed bee. Okie doke. Nomad you get. Okay, you just stick a, um, stick a hive down and then this one will move in eventually. I think that's how that works. Cool. Right. Anyway, I'm going to, um, let's stop talking about bees. What's that one there? It's a reed bee. Okay. how do you get that? Snow. Okay. What's this one used for? Obsidian. I think. Archer. Nickel. Cool. Got you. Right. Anyway, sorry. Uh, we are going to talk about the next update that happened. Oh, nice. Actually, wait, before we do, um, I want to just see. That looks like that might work now. Should we try it? I'm going to go try it making an oak drawer because that was uh, that was broken for a bit. Wee! Remember, we draw. No. Oak. Where is it? Yeah, we made a bunch of these oak cupboards. Oh, and they've changed it. I like that. They've changed it so it's slabs now. That makes sense. That's actually really nice. I might do something about that then. We might actually swap that out. Uh, we've got a load of recipes for uh, the spruce barrels or the spruce um, drawers, I should say. That's really cool. Right, anyway, the next update, the current one, the one that I'm on right now. Oh, wow, computer craft has been removed. The dev is away and recommends removing it for now. Interesting, I didn't realise that. I was literally going to do some CC soon. At computer, I don't know why I'm showing you that it's not in. <laughs> Mega Cells has been added. So Mega Cells is uh, the one that adds, ah, there you go, see, so you, you can make, uh, that's Sky Osmium, okay. Oh, I love that they've changed all the recipes. I think that's a really cool addition. It's a Mega Fluid Cell right there. Sky Bronze, it's Copper and a bunch of other stuff. And then you've got the Mega Cell for like, Okay, that's, that's just bigger, basically. Accumulation processor, we'll have to get into this one at some point. Oh no, am I actually going to have to set up an inscriber for this? I think I am, specifically just for the accumulation. Okay, whatever, that makes, that makes a bit of sense. We might not actually get into Mega Cells, because I've done loads recently with Applied Energistics, so we're going to just, uh, we're going to leave that for a bit, I think. Applied Mechanistics has been added. There you go. Mechanistics. So this is the chemical housing. So you can set up a chemical thing. So you can get like, um, uh, you know, you could put in here, you could put some stuff in here. Anyway, yeah, you could do that with that, which is pretty good. What the heck is hay berry? Oh, okay. So that's a Lobster John mod. I like that. Lobster John has added uh, that villagers take no damage from berry bushes. And also if you're wearing armor, you don't take any damage from berry bushes as well. You know, um, villagers would literally just kill themselves on those, uh, on those uh, berry bushes. So um, yeah, that's that's really cool. I like that. Uh, what else have we got? So that's that's hay berry. Oops, the wrong one. Uh, this one here. Uh, Curse Forge is updated recently, and you can't just like click in there and look at the mods anymore. <laughs> it's very odd. Okay, everything copper has been added. At everything copper. So that means we do have like a copper anvil that you can make. I think it, it, does it break easier? I'm not sure, but yeah, you've got like copper hoppers. It's kind of cool. That there can be any chest, any chest whatsoever. You get a framed chest. Oh, that's pretty cool. Copper ladders. Weird. And then a bunch of stuff has been removed, probably because it just doesn't work right now. So like um, CC Tweet was removed because we don't have computer craft anymore. Ah, oh, the connected textures mod has been removed. Okay, where have we got like a bunch of glass? I don't see it. I don't think we've got any glass anywhere. The, the glass that is uh, right here. What do you mean? Okay, that is, uh, that is full on, because these are doors. Okay, that's really cool. Oh, nice. Uh, so this was a, a hotfix one, I think. Because it does have all of the, the updates from the previous one. Anyway. Nice. Um, I don't think there's anything that I'm going to be using in... Yeah, I'm not going to be using anything right now. Because we're, we're going to do a little bit more with modern industrialization. Next few episodes. I hope that's okay. 
Uh, we got quite far last episode, I'd say. Oh, I didn't mention that I added the pattern providers up here. So I've got a pattern provider. I'll tell you what, let's take the recipe out. I'm going to plonk it here. What do you mean? Oh, it's down there, isn't it? Yeah. So one redstone and half a bucket of creosote turns into lubricant. Half a bucket of lubricant. And that is literally the recipe. I just clicked it in like that. You can do some centrifuge stuff and you can get some naphtha and put it in and all of that. But that's not yet, right? So uh, that goes in the centrifuge. I'm having a bit of an issue because I've set... I originally did set all of these to auto output so items auto eject enable now i don't know if that's what this is on the back i think that's what that is you know which in that case i need to move these down i need to move them behind i wish oh we do have a wrench it's in link mode apparently is that what that says oh that's not what i wanted Okay, uh, I wonder, can we do, uh, I'll tell you what, this is, I made the furnace just because I had, it was an uneven amount, so I made the furnace just because, let's, let's grab a, I don't know, what can we smelt up? Um, that's a good question, uh, let's smelt up, we got any logs? Yeah we do, let's grab one log, put that in here. Now that's not going to go anywhere, but if I do this and I make the uh, the top, the output, are you not going to auto-output? Okay, let's have a look back around the back. Uh, if I do this, it's just going to pick it up. So it's got a fixed area which it can come out of. I want to set it to the top. In um, Greg Tech, what you've got is like the ability to pick the side that it auto outputs to. I suppose that's okay. We can do something where uh, modular routers. Ah, oh, fine. I, I use modular routers like so much though. I think it's got to be done though. Oh, but then a few of these have got fluids. So I guess I can put an import on the fluids. Right, if we do this, we can see the backs of all of these. Okay, the, the only one that actually has a fluid is the mixer. So I can do an import for the, the fluids right there, but also use a modular router to bring those back in. So let me just stick that one there. Get a distributor module. I'm out of ender pearls, apparently. Brilliant. Okay, I guess I don't need to do a, like, uh, a bubbling on the back of this because the importer will get both the fluids and... Yeah, it will get the fluids and it will also get the uh, the other stuff. But yeah, I, I assume that these can put in the top. I actually don't know now that I think about it. Auto eject enabled on. Okay, yeah. So I think that's how that works. Let's make some creosote. No, not that. Let's make some good old lubricant. Why are you not letting me? What? Middle click? Ah, there you go. Right, one bucket. Which should be, yeah, two redstone and some creosote. So if I do that, send it in here. And there we go. We're getting some lubricant. That's really useful. Um, as I said, I've got, if I run down here, that there's got the lubricant in there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, those fluid cells are actually the ones that you might want to upgrade because you might want more, more stuff in there. So, and if we look at it, it did pull out all of that. Right. Let's try something with like the wire mill, for example. So I already set up the pattern for the, uh, do this. There you go. That is actually the copper plate from modern industrialization. So that again comes from the compressor, I believe over there. So I'll show you that, that recipe as well. One copper turns into a copper plate. I did not mean to do that. Okay, webs. So we're going to stick that back in over here. Stick this one in the wire mill. We're going to try and make copper wire. I already tested that, as you saw. Let's do eight. So it's doing it right there. 
are you going to be pulled out by this? That's the question. Yes, you are. And then that is going to do it as well. And then that is going to be pulled out of. Love it. Right, we need some speed for this. Speed upgrades. That should be much quicker. And then also muffler, because we don't want those beams. And there we go. So this is kind of automated now. I need to tidy everything up because I kind of wrecked everything when I was doing that. I'll tell you what, I'll go do that now. So the whole reason that we wanted to do this is the cutting machine gives you like access to get multiple stuff. Obviously you need the lubricant though in the first place. So are we going to need a lot of bronze? I don't think we are. What I'm going to do is if we do at modern industrialization, there's a few bits and bots. I want to get to the electric stage. Elecky. Right, and there it is. So basically we're going to swap these over from using steam. I still need to produce steam though. I just realized because of this thing. That's not amazing, is it? I mean, we could just take the boiler and put it right over here. And we can get it fed with the, um, the coal coke. That makes a lot of sense, actually. We maybe should do that. Because we still need um, creosote. Because, I mean, later on we might not need it for the uh, lubricant, right? Anyway, this is where you get the electric blast furnace as well. So there's a bunch of stuff that you need to do. Like this, uh, there you go, there's the battery stuff that we needed. Like tin cable comes from this. How do you get rubber sheets? Synthetic oil or vacuum freezer with this styrene stuff. Chromium, how the heck do you get chromium in this pack? Weird, I'm sure there's there's some way of doing it. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, um, we're going to start off just by getting all of the electric stuff, like replacing the things that we've already got. There is a quarry. Oh, we should probably look into this, although I don't know if we need to, right? Because we've got the um, uh, digital miner and we've got bees. So we could just like, instead of doing any of that, we just set up some bees for stuff. So that's pretty good. We don't need the unpacker, I don't think. I don't think this really does much. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've got a bunch of recipes for it though. It's weird. Don't need the water pump. Wire mill and the... Uh, we might need this. This is a new one. So one, two, three, four. We don't need the furnace. So that, that can basically replace the furnace. Five, six. And I think that's everything. We might need to get the um, electric blast furnace as well. So that is going to be some heat proof casing and we can get either the cooper nickel or the canthal. How the heck do you get canthal again? Okay, how do you get this? Canthal comes from... Cryo... Okay, you need to do the hot canthal. So you can't do it straight away because you need to make it in the electric blast furnace. And you can get canthal by mixing chromium, stainless steel and aluminium. Although it's been pointed out to me that that is spelt differently. So it is alu min um. So aluminum. Which is the American way of saying it. And it's the American way of spelling it. But I'm still going to say aluminium. I mentioned it in my first episode. And a lot of people like watched just the first episode. And because of that, I've got so many comments about the aluminium, aluminum sort of um, thing. Personally, I actually would prefer to say aluminum it's just it's not how i was brought up i think aluminum actually rolls off the tongue a lot nicer but anyway um yeah we need some of that uh that has been changed now so you can actually just smoosh it down again you can crusher crusherize it and everything that might be one that we don't get the thing to smelt up for us i think that might be a good idea anyway um that is to get canthal how do you get the cooper nickel um, Cooper nickel plate, which comes from Cooper nickel, which comes from Cooper nickel dust, which is copper and nickel. Of course it is. <laughs> it says it in the name, Cooper nickel. Love it. So that might be something we try and get to today then, I guess. Electric blast furnace. So we need to automate a few things. That is the reason I brought, well, I've made new ones of these, the uh, encoding terminal and everything. So... Um, I actually like having this set on a specific view, which is 
that's not at all what I meant to do. Uh, sort by number of items and then descending. So we've got a load of copper nuggets right now. That's the most we've got. Which is fine because that should be in here. And it looks like it is 21,000, uh, 25,100. 25,100, perfect. Lovely stuff. Right, anyway, what we were doing, we were trying to make a bunch of this stuff. So let's start with, I'll go back over here so we can actually start programming things in. Looks like all of these require one of these basic machine hull things. So we're gonna bookmark that. That needs tin cable, uh, steel machine casing, redstone battery, and analog circuit. Or you could do it in an assembler. And does it take anything different? No, it's the exact same if you do it in the assembler. When do we get to the assembler though? Why is this not showing up? Robot arm. I guess it doesn't have electric in the name, but we do need an assembler as well, right? Okay, let's see all the things we might have missed at modern industrialization. I'm guessing they're all together. They might not be though. There's the electric stuff. Electric packer and everything. Electrolyzer. Distillery. We might need one of these as well. I wish they just put electric in front of it. I'm not gonna lie, that would be that would be way nicer for us. There's the assembler. I think that's everything. Maybe it was just those two uh, a little bit out of line. Ah, there's no like upgrade for the assembler either. I quite like that. I quite like there's you don't have to make like a high voltage one and a low voltage one and all of that gubbins. Right, anyway, let's just crack on and try and make one of these tin cables. For example, or maybe we go for something a little easier. I mean, redstone battery doesn't... Oh, that needs tin cables anyway. Okay. Steel machine casing. We could do that one if we had patterns. I didn't make those for this, but let's just make 64 anyway, because it's probably a good investment, right? Did I already make... No, I didn't make this. Cool. So what's nice is the extended pattern access terminal has like highlight the pattern provider in world. So if I do that, okay, it's not highlighting it right now, but I think it's over there somewhere. So we could do like, uh, where's a good example? I think some of these down here. So like the steel macerator. Okay, it doesn't actually hide. Oh no, it does. There you go, it's got the red outline. So that's the one that it's talking about. That's pretty cool, I like that. Um, we're gonna just go down to, might have gone past it. There we go. So this one here, the extended molecular assemblers, these are the ones that we're going to start using. Hopefully we don't fill these up. We might have to though. So that's the first one that we need. Uh, next up, we, well, we can have a look at the analog, this thing. My goodness, it's got a lot of stuff in it. Flipping heck. So capacitor, circuit board inductor, resistor. So these are the bits that we need to make. So that is fine copper wire and copper or coal dust. Um, we'll probably do the mechanism version. I think that's probably easier, right? So let's do this. It does look like the crusher can do it as well, but I, I can't be asked to set that up. So if we do crusher, we can pop that in like that. So that's that part of the recipe down for the uh, resistor. Fine copper wire, that's fine. We can just put the, <laughs> get it, that's fine. We put that copper wire back through the wire mill, which is right here, to get the fine version. That's really annoying whenever you look at this. Anyway, so that's those two done. That means that we can make the resistor. I do have a recipe for paper, and this is the recipe I'm using, the sawdust. Might not be the best might not be the best idea. Although saying that, we can put sticks. Okay, let's do this. We could set that recipe up. Oh, and we don't need to do that. We can come here. We do sawmill. There you go, ultimate sawmill. Put that one in. And then that is basically the recipe done for us because it will go and make some sticks and saw them down to make the paper. So that is the pattern for the resistor. We're nowhere near this, by the way, <laughs> already. We're nowhere near it. So now we've got to do the inductor. That doesn't actually look that bad. 
to be honest. Okay, so you don't win anything. You don't like it doesn't. Yeah, you don't win anything if you uh if you do it this way or this way. So yeah, and then the steel rod, good old rod. So we can set this one up in the cutting machine. Whoa! Thunderbolt and lightning, very very frightening me. Anyway, um, this one I need to replace. Ah, there you go. It does it automatically because we can make this. So it's like I'll use that one because I can make that. So that's the first time we're using a uh, lubricant recipe. So that's really cool. I'm actually going to make some and see how it works. Did I do it? No, I didn't. Whoops. There you go. So it put the stuff in. It's going to make us two. And that's being pulled out and put back in. Lovely. So that's going to make us some steel rods. Love it. So again, this one can just be popped in with uh, the resistor. So that's that one down. There's a lot of like nuance to this. I still don't have rubber sheets, but we're going to have a look at making rubber sheets. So I'm actually going to put this one in for, I'll put it in second. I'll leave a space for the rubber sheets. Again, I'm not entirely sure how this works. So we've got synthetic oil or synthetic rubber. Now the rubber looks like you need a steel mixer, which is what we got. So that's good. But that is synthetic oil and sulfur dust turns into synthetic rubber. Okay, um, right, wow, we're gonna have to set up some of these. I feel like the rubber is what we are going to need to do. So I'm gonna set up a recipe for that. Set up a recipe for that right there. I think both of these go in the mixer over here. And then we also need one for synthetic oil, which comes from raw synthetic oil. Wait, yeah, raw synthetic oil. And that is in the, what is that in? Wait, I wasn't watching. Um. Okay, so we need, we probably need to make one of these then, one of the glass furnaces. Oh, that's a lot of fire clay, isn't it? Okay, we'll set that up next. Fine. And then this one comes from the mixer and it's water and carbon dust or coke dust. How do you get carbon dust? Okay, a centrifuge. Which we haven't got to yet. So I'm guessing it wants us to do the other thing, which is the coal coke or the coke dust. So if we do that one, where, where does this go again, sorry? This is in the mixer. Okay, we'll put that in now. It's kind of backwards the way that I'm doing this, but I think that's okay for now. So we could put coal dust in like that to begin with, but we're just gonna macerate some of the coke that we've got. Okay. So macerate, right? Which one's macerator? Macerator, okay, okay. Um, we could put that in here. We just type macerator. Uh, if you can spell it, I can't. Macerator. There you go. So we could put it in like this, but if you're right there, it makes sense to just go over there. Even if your screen does get filled up like that. So this goes in the steam blast furnace, which I'll probably put on this side. We'll, we'll mirror what we've got right here. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So steam blast furnace. I did pick up a blast furnace from wherever I was in the world. I'm just going to make like as many as I can right there. There we go. And then plunk that there. And then what you can do, take the wrench and it shows you all of the places that you need to put the different bricks. So you know, you'll notice right here that uh, this again is like hollow on the inside and these bricks are in the way. So I can take these out and then what we do is have a look again and there it is. Okay, so I am gonna need to do an input output item input output, I think, for the steam blast furnace. We do the same thing, we can do the same thing like this. So the pipe over here, we will just um, feed it over to this. Makes sense to me. But that does mean that I'm gonna do the steel ones again, because why not? three and four. Now it looks weird because I made two of the same, 
but you can just convert them from an input to an output. So that's what I'm doing right there. So how have I set this one up? I've got the input on this side, so I'm going to put the input here. Input hatch, item hatch goes there. Uh, the input for the fluid can go there. Output for the fluid can go there. That's the item. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then this one goes here. That one goes there. Nice. And now the rest of them. So it was 32, I think it said, right? Wait, if I do this. 32. So it's 28 of those bricks. Right. What I'm going to do is, where's my, there's my macerator. I've got a recipe right here. I'll show you it actually. So some regular bricks. Uh, if you put it through the macerator, you get four brick dust. And then to make the fire clay, you put it through like this. And all I need to do is tell it how to make brick, if I've not already done that. I have not. I also need to tell it how to make this. I should probably not do it that way then. I thought I had, oh, I have got a bunch of bricks though, don't I? So that one goes there. And then the final, the final thing is we also need to put that one in to be smelted. There you go. And then actually, no, sorry. The final thing is actually making the bricks. Probably don't need to make like an absolute ton of these, but I'm, I'm just going to do it anyway, because why not? Right, let's try it. So we've got five. We need 28, we decided. So that is 23 that we need. Perfect. There you go. It's going to go off and make us that. Right, as it's coming in, I'm just going to start building again. I picked the five up that are already here. And we can just start building as we go. That should be everything done then. As uh, as you can see, if I break this in, the middle is empty. Just like the, the middle over here is empty. Like, not even the top is capped off. So we'll do this again. You can see this has formed valid active. So, I need to get myself steam from over here and that is active now I'm gonna put underneath here we're gonna have to get a cable over here as well but a pattern provider extended it doesn't need to be extended but I'm gonna put that one in anyway this is where we're gonna put our electric glass furnace after we we are done with this basically so I think it's fine to have this over here now that is the input hatch. Yeah, that's fine because once we got the electric version, we don't need this because it won't run on steam. It will run on electricity instead. So stick that there. And then I need to cable this. It's going to be fun, isn't it? Luckily, I've got some. Uh, I've got some space over here somewhere. So as long as I run it underneath, we can get it over to to here. So like. This one here, I can run it to, to right there, for example. So that is the fluid output hatch, perfect. Probably should do the same thing over here, but I was worried that we were just going to get overrun with uh, creosote. Whereas this is just going to be purely for recipes. Nice, right, Um, did I did I put the recipe in here? No, I didn't. Okay, I just put my uh, wrench away. What was it that we were missing? It was just the rubber sheets, wasn't it? I think we're good. So actually, we can move that one back over. There you go. And then the next one we want to do is the capacitor. And again, it wants us to make gold plates. So I'm actually going to put that back in. Get rid of it first, actually, thinking about it. Um, we want to get gold plates. So if we do this, we can get this gold plate instead. And as long as it's in our system, should be fine to use. Cool. Right. Is that everything now? Can we just make this? We can. If you don't like making recipes, then this might not be for you. <laughs> uh, so we can get rid of that now. So redstone batteries. I should do it the other way. Yeah, let's do it the other way around. So we're going to make this one first. And then uh, what we're going to do is then, okay, go for the, the tin cables is the other way. Tin cables, uh, we also need the tin wire, which means we need the tin plate, which again is a plate plate recipe right there. Uh, and then the wire mill recipe, 
and that goes in here. Oh man, and then finally this one goes in with the rest of them, right? So that's how you make the tin cable. You just rubber sheets and tin wire. Okay, the mixer, so we do that like that for the lead dust and the antimony dust. I am going to use this macerator recipe for the antimony dust, and no I'm not. I'm going to set that to 1. Because if we get an extra, then that's amazing. If we don't, then it messes the recipe up. So I'm going to use that as the way of getting antimony dust. And for lead dust, uh, we can use a hammer, apparently. So we'll, we'll have to use a hammer. I've got a recipe set up for the platinum ore hammer. Because we're not using platinum for anything else, so it kind of makes sense, right? And again, I'm going to put this in here for now. So that one goes in there. These mixers don't work. Not going to lie. Cool, so that's... Oh, do we also need to tell it how to smelt the, the dust? I think we do. So we can stick that one in the furnace. We need to upgrade the uh, pattern provider on the furnace, so it's like a bigger ver version of it. We could use this furnace, but it's not as quick. Uh, right, so that's that one. Then we need to make these curved thingies, whatever these are called, battery alloy curved plates. Nice. And then this one just pops in like that. And I think that's everything we need for the basic machine hull. Now, my big question is, does that work <laughs> if I do a basic machine hull? It will tell me if I'm missing anything. Water. I knew that would be a thing, and I forgot that I was supposed to do this. But if we do cell like that, there is an infinite water cell and an infinite cobble cell. Infinite. There you go. So these two. So I'm actually going to make these two. Let's take these two 1Ks out and put those in. And now we've got infinite cobblestone and infinite water. Might mean that we don't need a cobble drawer anymore. Anyway, for now we can cover this one up and we could try that again. So what was it? It was machine, basic machine hull. Like that. Now please do the thing that I want you to do. Right, where are you going to go first? Oh, you're going to make all the battery alloys, are you? Oh, that makes sense. Now, I was about to say, is it actually going to make the battery alloys or is it Okay, so it's already making the raw synthetic oil. It's pretty cool. Does that put that in over here? I'm an idiot. Doesn't this need fluid input? Is that how that works? I'm so confused. What was this again? Synthetic oil. Raw synthetic oil. But that's items. We also need it. Oh, you bum all. Okay. We'll let it do it, all of its thing anyway. Um, it will save all of the raw synthetic oil it's got. Have that in the system and then it will just be confused why it's not making the actual synthetic oil. And then we'll fix it. I hope, at least. Is that doing the compress? It is indeed. Okay, this is pretty cool. I like how it uses the item up and then does the recipe. That That's a pretty cool, that's an old school mechanic right there. So we need the rubber. So over here, I've done this wrong. I need a, another fluid input hatch. Fluid input hatch. It's one of these bad boys. Oh, and you know what? I made an extra tank and I didn't, I was like, oh, I'm, so, I'm such an idiot for making an extra tank. But... But I'm not an idiot because we needed it. My brain knew. Genuinely knew. Right there. So let's break that. Pop that one there. I think we can put this instead into a matrix. Okay, that's a work in progress apparently. Ah, there it is. Ingredient buffer. That's the one we need. So the ingredient buffer is absolutely phenomenal. It's perfect for stuff like Greg. And what this will do is it's like a, a big storage that you can use. So I'm actually going to break this. Break this. Put the ingredient buffer here. I'm actually going to move this. So I'm going to have items here and then fluid here. Fluid input right there. Like that. And then what I can do is I can have fluids come out of 
this side and then items run up to this side. I actually do it right there, can't I? That would make more sense. There you go, quickly made some. Uh, so we can do this and this. I mean, technically we could have put it up one. Oh, that's fine. Anyway, this one is just an item pipe, so a logistical transport pipe. Logic. Or logistical? Yeah, these ones. I am not going to use the basic tier. Why would we do that? Let's uh, upgrade it all the way if we can. I knew we would need the atomic. So we only need two. One and two. Let's break these so we can get to these. And you just configure them to pull out of there. So that's already put the raw synthetic oil in. And pull out of there. If we've got another recipe that needs this, that uses items instead, we can use it. Oh, and just to prove that it's working, there you go, actually actively working. And it's being output to here and then pulled into the system. And then that is making us some rubber sheets, I believe. Where's the rubber sheets being made? Mixer. Okie dokie. So we'll keep an eye on the mixer over here. Um, how is that being made again? Sorry. Uh, 100 and then paper. Nice. Um, so next episode, we'll probably continue on and I'll start making some electric-y stuff. So we we'll probably remove this or not remove it. We'll just swap it out for the electric blast furnace if we can. How do we make this? So we use the assembler apparently, or we could just do this. Why would we use the assembler for some of these? You don't like save anything from using the assembler, but we at least need a polarizer, which is again, an another one that we didn't know that we needed. Hmm, I might actually have to branch out and put some stuff over here as well, and over here. And we might need an extra wireless connector. I like this over here though. I think this is kind of good looking, ish. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here, so there we go. Thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Right, let's do stats. So, uh, let's go here, and then we'll go down like that. 2.35 days.